We are live. <laughs> okay, so I hope I'm in frame. So I send out Snapchat to ask you guys some questions. Hopefully we'll get some non-related, non-fitness related ones. So Aoife, my sister, can answer some. I'll answer the fitness ones quickly. I won't drag them out, but do you regret any of your cuts? Do you feel like you have you could have gained muscle in the time you spent cutting? Loving the content, can't wait for the summer. I don't regret any of the cuts, especially the last one that I did proper almost prep style cut because I learned so much about my own body, about my diet and how I react to certain calories and certain amount of cardio. And that's the only proper cut I've done before, so no I don't. I spent a good few years now building muscle, so it was about time I did a cut, so well, that's enough for that. Another fitness one, when did you start lifting? Uh, what are your goals at this time and did you make any woeful gym noob moves? Um, I started lifting when I was 17 and my goal at that time was to just look like Steve Cook. <laughs> and uh, did I make any gym noob moves? In the gym, specifically, no, not really. I did make a stupid idea to try keto for a while. Essentially I did the paleo diet which is like no carbs which wasn't beneficial at all for me personally so I lost weight and probably muscle doing that and that was when I was like 17 or 18 so wouldn't recommend. What do I hope to do after I graduated college? That's another... I'll answer this one for you. you want to answer this one? He wants to. Okay, he can answer this one. Make money. <laughs> no Get... way. <laughs> Get as many uh, get bigger on social media and YouTube and yeah. then eventually yeah. possibly open a gym yeah. but obviously that's way down the line. Yeah. I think that's Maybe it. not so far away down the line, we'll see. But the main goals. But those are the main goals. I'm already finished college so yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer this one just for the sake because I got a comment last night on an Instagram photo saying that I had steroid nips. <laughs> which I absolutely do not, I don't know why he said that, but anyway. Uh, will you ever take steroids or does that depend on how your personality or mindset evolves? Or do you have fixed view on it that won't change, i.e. be natty for life? I'm natty gonna be for life. natty for life <laughs> for a few reasons. The main reason I do the whole health and fitness thing is for my health. I don't see it as a healthy thing to inject yourself with extra hormones or anything like that or take tablets. I want my body to be in a healthy state. So that means getting my nutrients from foods, staying healthy, all that good stuff. And as well, it costs so much money. Even if I was to get my stuff from someone cheap, it's a, it's a, a cost that I have to... And daily it's, it's an expense that I'll have to keep going if I want to maintain my progress. So I'd rather just stay natural. It's not real muscles if you take steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> That's my view on it anyway. I have nothing against people telling me if they want to go ahead and, and uh, try and enter these big competitions, but I won't be entering the Olympia or anything that will make a lot of money. So competing wise, that's not my goal. I'd rather go the kind of the route where I can motivate people via a healthy lifestyle rather than having crazy vascular chest and arms and legs and all that crap. So we'll see how far I can go naturally. Okay, here's another question. Any advice for the Leaving Cert and balancing your life? Now, we've both done the Leaving Cert. Uh, you, two, three years before me. Um, you did quite well in your Leaving Cert. I did decent in my Leaving Cert too. Spread out the study. Spread so out. it's not, you're not cramming the last few weeks. Probably from fifth year, if you can, even just doing a tiny bit of study at the weekends, yeah. it really would help in the long run because yeah. it would reduce your stress and then when you get to sixth year, you won't be doing weeks and weeks of cramming and then you'll have more time to balance your life because you yeah. have studied already. Um, fifth and sixth year for me taught me a lot about prioritising my time and I get a lot of questions these days about how I do so much and how I get all these things done. Um, I don't see it that way because in those years when I was studying and doing my leaving cert and living my life alongside, that's when I learned how to balance those things. And I think that's important because if you don't learn it then, it gets pretty tricky to learn it when you have a lot more responsibilities when you're older. So learn how to balance your time by just cutting out things that you don't need to be doing. Like spending a ridiculous amount of time watching TV. Like that's not productive for anything. Just get your work done, stay on top of it. and. Uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Salami nipples or 10 cent coins? Do you want 10 cent coins for your nipples or salami for your nipples? 10 cent coins. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 10 cent coins. Yeah, could you go for salami?
Um, At least your nipples will be worth something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they won't just be food. <laughs> no, definitely 10 cent coins. Question from Owen, my friend Owen. What's it like living away from home? This one's obviously for yeah. you because I still live with my parents. Yeah, you just have obviously a lot more freedom. You get, you can do what you like, when you like. But you also have more responsibilities like bills and paying for food <laughs> and paying for petrol instead of having like just go to the fridge and open it and all the food's there. You have to actually pay for it. <laughs> um, <Yeah>, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. It costs money. <laughs> I'm gonna check if this is still recording. Okay. We're good. <laughs> still recording. <laughs> this is great. I'm putting you on the screen, Jack, because this is a hilarious question. How many of your sisters would it take to beat you up? How just many one. Just one! <laughs> I could easily beat him. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> We're not testing that with muscles. Uh, I have bigger muscles than him. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So, uh, he learned everything so. from me. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> what are each other's worst habits? Should we say it safe for each other? Or should well, we say it for each other? So it's probably. Each other's. Oh, I don't know what my. I don't know if I have habits. I don't find my. Oh, memory. I know. Yeah, I have a habit, do I? Blowing your nose in the shower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't use tissue. I he can't just... be the only one who does that though. That's the only thing I can think of. I can't that's... be the only one. Probably not, but that's the only thing I can think yeah, of. Um... Or cracking his neck a ridiculous amount of times. Yeah, I've done it already like a hundred times today. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, that's all I can think of. Really. That's a habit, yeah. For you? I'm perfect, I have no bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to disprove that. <laughs> habits. Darren, any bad habits Eva has? This is going on the internet. This is gonna be for life. I can't say <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll skip that one. <laughs> any idea of your plan after your degree? I think we covered that. Will I do a J1? Probably won't do a J1. Future or future? What? Future or current bay or friend? Winky face. And I think they're asking if I have a girlfriend. I don't. <laughs> All by myself. And the next question is very much related. Are you single? One, are you single? Yes. Two, what do you like to do for fun? Go to the gym. <laughs> I like videoing. I like vi like YouTube is a big like pastime for me, and I like really enjoy editing and making videos, and then I like making music as well. Watching Netflix. Netflix is a good one. A big one. What makes you smile? Cats. Cats. <laughs> and funny baby videos. <laughs> <laughs> you fall into all the like traps on YouTube. So. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, what makes me smile? When I make something and I'm happy with it. Yeah, I can't really think of anything like physical that would make me smile. Uh, somebody compliments you. That yeah, would yeah, some, yeah, obviously yeah. make somebody smile. Nice people. People being nice. <laughs> Am I a big family man? I guess. Well, like... As a we, family, we're close. We've never like had big fights. But or, like... the thing is, we don't have like a big extended family. Yeah. Like all our kind of relatives are much older than us, or else live far away. We have like one one family, one that's, close family that's close to us, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Like one, like our first cousins live quite close, and we'd be close with them. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess we could be counted as big family people. But I think they're asking. I big family man. Like, are you big into family? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Where do you both see yourself in five years? Ooh, five years. I'm definitely going to be in a different country because, no offence to Ireland, but I need to get out and see the world and live somewhere else for a while. Mm -hmm. And I'd say in five years I'll probably be somewhere else. Hopefully have my own gym. I'll be 26. Possibly have my own gym somewhere. Have an apartment. Either living in a city or somewhere near a city. I'd love to live in Manhattan or London for a while. I think when you're young, it's a good place to be in the like, send big cities. Five years, probably own a house by then. I'll be 20, 29. 29. Own a house, is that a good goal? Yeah. Yeah, have a house. is a pretty big thing. Yeah. <laughs> Buy a house. If you were stuck on a desert island, what three things would you choose to have with you? A camera. Yeah. Take pictures, mm -hmm. entertain yourself, think to make water. A water filter. <laughs> this we're we're thinking about this way too practically. I think people okay. just want to know. Probably what, uh, my phone. Yeah, my phone. Um, Definitely my phone. My phone, my bed, and an unlimited supply of peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the unlimited supply of clean water. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we'll just go with that. <laughs> okay. If you could train only one muscle group for the rest of your life, what would it be? Legs. Is that a muscle group or do yeah. you have to? No, legs. Yeah. Okay, legs. Well, that's easy for a girl. <laughs> I think back because if you can't train your back, you won't have the egg, the frame, the what the, yeah. the V frame. So yeah, back. Do you or have you ever taken illicit substances such as ecstasy? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. all the questions we have now. I skipped a few more of the bodybuilding ones because I don't want to bore you with that. So that is the Q&A. Thank you very much for coming on the show. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, just because we want to make this video a bit more fun. We're going to do the whisper challenge, where you put in headphones, play like loud, blaring music, and the other person has to say something, and you have to try and guess what we said, like repeat what I said. Okay. So we both got these in-ear headphones that are like noise cancelling. She's going to play a song. Play loud now so yeah. you can't hear me. <laughs> when I have to say something, I have to make up something, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> the fox jumped over the moon. The? Say it again. The fox jumped over the moon. The fox jumped over the box? The fox jumped over the moon. Moon. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we started with an easy one, obviously. <laughs> That's a really easy that? That's in the. Isn't that like a children's book? The fox jumped over the moon or something? Kind of Oh, okay. Well, you got it anyway. <laughs> I like banana with peanut butter. That's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I like bananas with peanut butter. Yeah, no. That's because we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I tried it. Do I tried it. Can you hear me? Okay. Cats like to eat cheese and crackers. Cats like to shit. Yeah? <laughs> Say it again. Cats like to. <laughs> eat. Eat. Cheese. <laughs> what? Cheese and crackers. Cats like to eat cheese and crackers. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Did I forget it? I'm so deaf after this. You were like, shit, and I was like, shit, cheese and crackers. <laughs> I got it. How did I get it? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, my ears. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by this brand. I just got two nice pieces from TK Maxx today. <laughs> I got my license when I was 18. <laughs> Try again. I. <laughs> give I. Me I got my. I got my license when. License. I, <laughs> when I was eighteen. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier too. Yeah. Oh, that was so confusing though at the beginning. <laughs> you were I was like. I was speaking and you like said the word after like I was finished the sentence. I was like, I got my license when I was, and you were like, license. <laughs> you can buy tulips in Amsterdam. You buy tulips in Amsterdam. Close. You can buy tulips in Amsterdam. You can buy. Tulips in Amsterdam. Tulips. Tulips in Amsterdam? Yeah. That was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you buy tulips in Amsterdam? I don't know, I just made something up. <laughs> I got that straight away. Okay. I think it's because we're like familiar with each other. And if you're familiar with something, yeah, you're can familiar with the lips, better. The way you speak. I need to crack my back. I need to pack my bag. I need to crack my back. Oh, I need to ring my bank. <laughs> yeah? No. Yeah? <laughs> I need to crack my back. I need to... 
Ripped? No. <laughs> I need to crack my back. I need to yeah. something yeah. my yeah. back. Yeah. Okay, I need to train my back. <laughs> no, you can't just guess. I need to crack my back. Crack. Crack. <laughs> crack. <laughs> Rain? <What? laughs> Roll? <laughs> Crack. Stretch. <laughs> it doesn't even look like that. I need to crack my back. I need to something my back. Crack. Crack. Ring? Ring? Crack. <laughs> okay, she was never going to get that. It was crack my back. <laughs> but anyways. That is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. The battery's about to die, so we have to finish it there. Also, I've got to pack my bag and get out of here. Train's at like half five, five fifty or something. So, traveling back to Ireland. It's been a great trip. Hope you enjoyed the video. Vlog coming soon. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a like. I'm saying a lot of stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Say goodbye. Bye. Peace.